I remember I lost the baby. I lost the baby. Amazing, 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 amazing God is. I'm just telling y'all. Oh my God. He's amazing, y'all. I can feel it in the air. Yeah, yeah. It's gonna be a good day. I'm starting to really believe that. Communication is the key. I think communication is the key. We need to start communicating. Let's just start communicating more. Let's have more. Yo, Team Jackson, it's your girl Shara, and I am back with another video. Today, I am doing the Burger King mukbang with the Impossible Whopper with some fries, and I have a drink here, and we're about to dig in. Just before we start, I am going to pray. Father God, in the name of Jesus, we thank you for the food we're about to receive for the nourishment of our bodies. In the name of Yeshua, Amen. So. How's everybody doing today? Hope everyone had a wonderful holiday. Enjoyed their family a little bit and their friends. Okay, y'all. So I'm about to dig in. I am hungry. I forgot to ask for some ketchup though when I was at the uh, at Burger King, but it's it's all good. You know, I hate it when I do that because you know it's for, it's you. I mean, it's free. I mean, come on. <laughs> So I hope everybody's having a great week. I was actually trying to figure out what I was going to talk to you guys about today. And um, I was like, let me just, just talk about something that's heavy on my heart. So before I start, you see I got my, I have my fries here with the ketchup. Mm-mm-mm. mm, -mm, -mm. <laughs> Here's the Impossible Whopper. Here. Hopefully y'all can see that. It's the Impossible Whopper. I'm going to take a bite out of this. Hopefully they have enough ketchup on here. Because sometimes they just shorten me on this stuff. Shouting me. Hold on. Okay. Look. This is good. Some more of this. Mm. But you guys, I'm just going to talk a little bit about depression today. I was just thinking about and thinking about it. Um, depression is a very sneaky thing. And it's a very... It's a thing that a lot of us go through, but... It, it goes under the radar a lot of times. For most of us. What I'm saying is, you know, a lot of times, you know, I think um, depression is defined by, you know, the symptoms of depression is pretty much the, um, pretty much you don't want to do anything. You have a lack of interest when it comes to doing things. You have fatigue. Um, hopelessness is a big one. And also, um, I've also heard of it being like indecisiveness. So pretty much you can't really function or make a decision over your life because you're so down and out and depressed that you can't even figure life out and it's like you you hear these definitions and you analyze it and then you're like okay well that's not me because as far as I'm concerned you know I still go to work I still get up and I do my YouTube video I still do tend to my children so a lot of times you don't realize of the depth of what's going on mm. and what's so crazy about it is you know, and I'm going to speak from a perspective of a person. Like, I grew up in church. I mentioned this before. My dad's a pastor. Um, me, I do ministry myself. And you're taught about how things are going to work out, which they are, because all things work together. For the good of those who love God and who are called according to his purpose. And we know that God is there and... Um, you just, and then you have this willingness to go on. So you don't think that certain things apply to you. And what's interesting about depression is it just, you don't realize you have it a lot of times until after you already had it for a while. You don't realize you have it. And that's what's kind of sneaky about it because 
I remember I was able to function at one point, so I was dealing with it. I didn't realize I was dealing with it because even though I had some things going on in my life, I was still going to work, trying to smile, trying to laugh. And I honestly didn't realize that I was dealing with depression. I had no idea that that's what it was because I had the ability to function and I had the ability had the ability to comfort others. I had the ability to um, have a good word and I could still see some positivity in my life. So a lot of times depression will pretty much come upon you and have a heavy presence on you because you do not realize you have it, which means that you don't deal with it. And so when you don't deal with it, it grows on you and it gets bigger and bigger and bigger. So I just woke up one morning, wow, wait a minute, what's going on with me? Because in all honesty, I had moments of sadness and I didn't understand what it just look, I didn't break down crying or nothing like that. It could be like you're in a good, happy place, but then all of a sudden you have this overwhelming thing that comes over you. You're a little sad or you're not as up as you feel like you should be because nothing really happened. That's one of the biggest things. Nothing really happened in that moment. And that's how depression is able to sneak up on you because a lot of times... You don't see the results of it until um, it's already been in your life for a period of time. For example, like, I remember I lost the baby. I lost the baby. And then I went on with my life. The first day, I was sad. But then I went on with my life. And because I went on with my life, I really didn't deal with what was going on. So when I went on with my life, I was like, I'm good. And then before you know it, days, weeks, maybe years later, you're sad. And you can't even figure out why it's sad. You're sad. And then we're also, as people, programmed to be okay. What's the first thing we do when we see people? Hey, how you doing? Without even putting thought into how you're really feeling, you're going to say you're fine. That's what you're going to do. And then we're also programmed as people not to take the time to really see what is going on with that person at all. And we say, okay, and even if we do feel like something's not right, we don't push it. Because we feel that if that person wanted to say something, they would have. But without realizing that sometimes the embarrassment of it or the, um, what do you say? What am I going to say? Or you just don't feel like you trust people enough. Excuse me. To tell them exactly what's going on with you. So I had this baby. I didn't have the baby. Excuse me. And I went years. And it, and it, it bothered me so bad. And I didn't even realize it did. I didn't even remember that I lost the baby. I didn't even remember that it happened. Because I was able to block it out. And so, then later on, I said, do I just, like, am I just disconnected from reality or do I not connect emotionally anymore? That's how I felt. But then later on, it hit me. It's like, you're depressed. You are depressed. But that, for me, that was like, wait a minute now. Mm-mm. Because -mm. I got the Holy Ghost. Because I, I, I. I have the Holy Ghost, so I'm not depressed. There's, I'm good. God's got me. And that's 100% true. He does have you. But 
we still have to deal with things. And that's all I'm saying. You still have to address and deal with things. I live my life not dealing with things, not addressing things. And I was able to cope. The reason why I knew I was depressed was because I got to the point that I couldn't cope. I couldn't function. And I didn't even realize that that was, excuse me a second. I didn't even realize that that's what was really going on with me because I got to the point I couldn't function. And when I say function, I'm talking about like that everyday life, making decisions, being a friend, being a wife, being a mom. I did the best I could, but I wasn't functioning at a hundred percent like I should have but one thing I am going to say is this I didn't come on this video to cry it really I really didn't one thing I'm gonna say is this about how amazing 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 God is I'm just telling y'all He's amazing, y'all. He's amazing, y'all. He's amazing. Pretty much, I... I felt like I was by myself. And I felt like... Oh, you can't ruin your makeup. But he is so amazing, y'all, because, you know, I was at a point where I felt like I just was not going to make it. Like, I couldn't see hope. And that's what's, that's what's interesting about it, because I was at a place that I could see the hope even when I was down and out. And then I got to a place where I couldn't see it anymore. Um, but what's amazing to me about how God works is... He is ever present. And sometimes we feel like he's not talking to us at all or he's not um, there for us at all at times. But he's there and he's speaking. But the question is, are we hearing it? Are we listening to whatever he's trying to say? Um, he has spoken to my heart. Just let me know he's there. Encouraging me through different avenues. And that's another thing too. Don't put God in a box. To where he can't communicate through, with you. I've had people. At work. Say little things to me. That really encouraged my heart and my spirit. Uh, you know my husband's spoken to me. Family members, friends, and different people like that, he'll place in your life to help encourage you. But you just have to be in an, in an era, uh, a place to receive it. But I just remember, honestly, I remember one night I was listening. I don't remember what I was listening to. I can't remember. It was a gospel song, and I wish I wrote it down. What song was it? I think I mentioned it for, uh, before. It was called Forever is a Long Time by Jason Nelson. Just laying there, just listening and just receiving the word really made, I know for me, it made a difference for me in the fact that knowing that he's always there. And so, um, like I was saying before is, y'all, we just have to deal with our issues, whatever they are. We just have to address them. Even being a child of God, a, a woman of God, you have to deal with whatever you're going through inside because one of the biggest tricks of, of what we believe is we feel like we're invincible, almost like I don't have to put any work in, I don't have to address anything, and it's going to be all right. No, you have, you have to address it. You have to address it. You have to let God do whatever he's going to do. To make everything, to make everything all right. 
But I'm telling y'all that no matter what it is, you can you can get through it, y'all. I remember I even felt abandoned at one point because I wasn't really a good functioner. I completely shut down. I had friends that I, I didn't have I felt like I had nobody. Because I guess the thing that hurt me the most, and I'm be honest, is I felt like I was always, even when I was going through what I was going through, I felt like I was always there for people. But then when I was going through what I was going through and I couldn't really function and I couldn't really, I, I, I didn't get a text from people. I mean, even if I got like a text that said, hey, you all right or something, it would make, make a difference. But it hurt me because there were certain people in my life that I felt would do that, but they didn't. But then there were some people in my life that did do that, and I really appreciate them for it. But like I said, God will place people in your life to really be there to assure that everything's going to work out and you're going to be okay and everything. So well, I, can say, I can honestly say that I'm not necessarily struggling, Lynn, with depression like I did before at all. Um, I'm really not. I lean and I depend on him 100% fully and I am one of these people like look we just got to be at a point in our life to be honest with people because if you're honest it can really help other people out I think one of the hardest reasons one of the biggest reasons excuse me one of the biggest reasons as to why people are not honest as to where they really are is because they don't feel that you have gone through anything or they don't feel like, or they feel like you're ju gonna judge them for what they're going through. And I'll be honest, I was depressed. I was. Am I depressed? Am I depressed now? No. Um, but I'm at a big, better place in life, and I can really see the goodness and the power and the glory of God. And that's that is what it is. I was honestly, y'all, I wasn't trying to. I was just trying to talk about it a little bit, but it just kind of choked me up because I'm telling you, I'm telling you, I don't care what's going on. I don't care how big it is. I don't care how impossible it seems. God is here. And I know when we look at the pandemic, we look at all these other things. It's hard to see where he is or if he's here. But I'm telling y'all that he is ever present, ever loving and just knowing that really builds my spirit and it lifts me up and it just gives me complete joy in knowing that you have that consistency in your life. If nothing else in your life is consistent, that is consistent. And, um, and I just wanted to encourage you guys. I really did. I want to encourage you guys and, and just let you know that if you suffered a loss, if you, any type of loss, whether it's a loved one, whether it's your home, whether it's a job, whatever it is, I'm telling y'all, there is a light at the end of the tunnel. There are greater things for you. There is a specific plan laid out for you, for you to overcome the situation that you're in so that you could become a bigger and a better person. Nothing is laid out in your life to tear you down to a point that you cannot overcome it and you cannot function it's just only thing that can come out of whatever it is is for you to be better that's it nothing less than that you're going to be better and you're going to be stronger and that's it you just have to believe it yourself that's it you just have to believe it but um yeah that's what i want to say while i was eating my burger i am going to finish my burger though I, I know I say it a lot. <laughs> I am. But I just thought I, 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 I was supposed to be cool, y'all. I was supposed to be keeping this cool, you know, eating my burger. It didn't work out. <laughs> but, you know, but, but I tell you what, if you want to see me get choked up, God, I'm telling y'all, he is amazing, 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 amazing. Okay. But on a brighter note, and if it will be, and like I said before, if you are not, at that place, you don't feel like you're at that place yet, give it a little time, give it some faith, 
and some hope and you will be there. I promise you, you will be there. Just trust in the Lord with all your heart. Lean not to your own understanding. In all thy ways, acknowledge him and he will direct your path. With that being said, you guys, if you haven't subscribed to our channel, please make sure you use, um, like, share, and comment, and subscribe. And click on the post notification bell so that you'll be notified every single time we post a new video. I don't think I said that at the beginning. I don't know if I did or not. But if, if I didn't, just go ahead and do that for me, please. <laughs> okay, you guys, I'm about to sign out. Much love, much peace, much prayer. Team Jackson, peace and love. I'm starting to really believe that communication is the key. I think communication is the key. We need to start communicating.